The next piece of the puzzle is my programmable reference. Uh, this, the most common one, is TL431. This one is taken from the data sheet of LMV431 uh, from uh, TI. And at first look, it looks a little bit strange in that you have the, the inverting pin tied to an internal reference, and then you've got the non-inverting pin where it's taking the feedback. So when you first look at it, you, th you think, oh, hang on, I'm going to get positive feedback around this. Uh, if we were going to look at the uh, op-amp inside a, a standard non-isolated power supply, what we have is a reference on the non-inverting pin and the feedback components go around the inverting pin. So at first glance, when you look at the data sheet of this, this, this uh, uh, reference, you think, oh, well, hang on. Uh, this has got positive feedback. But it doesn't, because the output of this is tied to this transistor. The voltage across this, voltage VKA, voltage of cathode to anode, or VCE, the collector emitter voltage, is now inversely proportional to the output of this. So what will happen is, when this goes up, this comes down. And therefore, you have got an inversion as a result of this. So the output of this is inverted as a result of this transistor, which is inside the package. And that means that effectively, these two pins are swapped around. So now what you have is actually a three-pin op-amp with an internal reference tied to the non-inverting pin and access to two pins to put compensation component around and that is exactly what we need for a power supply and that is what we use in a power supply in order to make a type 2 or a type 3 compensator.